Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive, and thank you very much for being here. So, what we're gonna do is do a read for the month of February, okay? It's gonna be a February 2021, it's gonna be a general read. My bi-weekly is focused on love, we're going to find out what the cards really want to say uh, here. Uh, so it's not going to be, uh, we're going to have a general read to see what wants to really come up for you. All right. Uh, if you're looking for a personal read that taps into your own personal energies, then go to the guided intuitive up here or in my description box. All right. All right, guys. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull, uh, you know, about a six card spread and then of course some clarifiers along the way, but we're going to focus on what you want most at the moment, your fears, what's going against you, what's going for you, the outcome. And I'm actually going to pull some cards uh, to help you, uh, uh, be mindful in the moment. How, what's going to help you find balance and manage any sort of distress, regulate any sort of emotions and have better relationships. So I'm going to actually pull a special card for this um, at the end uh, of what I use in my work. All right. All right. So let's jump into this and see what's happening for you. Okay. All right, Scorpio. So how are you feeling about yourself right now? Let's take a look at how you're feeling about yourself right now in the month of February, the month of love, right? Uh, so yeah, very exciting. So um, how do you feel about yourself? We've got the Page of Swords. Um, so Page of Swords and I've got the Hierophant, all right? So what this tells me, um, Hierophant's Taurus energy, the Page of Swords is uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. But the interesting thing is that pages are about messages, right? So there's some sort of message that's coming through for you. Uh, and it could be from a, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, okay? So it could be, uh, you know, someone that's got air in their chart. But the interesting thing is that this is about some sort of something that's very curious, something that's very energetic. Uh, so maybe perhaps that you're taking on this energy um, or you've got, you know, this, this type of, uh, you know, this type of uh, energy within your uh, your chart uh, of some sort or, just, or, you know, that type of thing. So you might have air in your chart. But what I really feel what's happening here is when I get to the Hierophant that that really focuses in and tells me that. You're, you're actually looking at what traditions and beliefs and you're revisiting those traditions and beliefs. And it's not uncommon, especially during the full moon during right now, because the full moon right now is going to be taking place. I shouldn't say right now. It's taking place in Virgo uh, on the 27th of February. You might start feeling some remnants of that. Um, I know we're in Mercury retrograde. Um, shoot, right now until... I think it's uh, started at the very tail end of January. It's running in, I think, until uh, maybe about the 20th of February or so. We've got three Mercury retrogrades in 2021. But uh, again, guys, that's what I, I'm seeing here. I, I, from, I vaguely remember, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I feel um, from my last check on that. <laughs> but what I'm finding is that... Um, during this time when the full moon is in Virgo, that is about getting things in order, right? And and it's kind of also revisiting feelings um, because uh, in, in this particular, uh, what's happening with Virgo is that, you know, that it's the full moon's in Virgo, but it's in opposition uh, to the moon in Virgo um, uh, because the sun is in Pisces, okay? So um, that Pisces energy, you know, is all about that physical health. Uh, it is about uh, also tools to deal with our spiritual selves. And I think that what you're doing here on this Hierophant card is you're looking at you know, the traditions and beliefs of your spiritual self and you're revisiting on, on the clarity and what that is. It's a five card, which tells me that there's some sort of adversity. There's some sort of rub in this, some sort of change uh, that's in this. Um, that's taking place and so it has you revisiting that and it's a perfect time to do it within the month of February especially during the full moon on what that is for you okay you can it's so beautiful because he's carrying that peace sign right it's so he's such a happy happy hair font. um and so that's what I'm feeling right now because you're really focusing on um, you know, the spiritual health and any disorder there and um, what that vision will be like. And then that Virgo energy is all again about putting things in order, right? Um, and, and really kind of uh, uh, the need for order, right? And so um, this is saying is about striking the balance um, when, when this full moon happens between your work and then the service that you do in your life. 
um, you know, service to others, uh, service in your work, whatever that is. So it's about striking those types of balances. Um, so that's going to be key. But but where you are right now is a new opportunity. Um, you know, you're very curious and energetic and you're looking a little bit more perhaps under the uh, spiritual side and your beliefs and tra traditions, um, you know, regarding that. So this is kind of interesting, Scorpio, for you. Yeah. And, and then I also get justice, which is about the balancing of the scales. Um, now, you've got two major arcana coming through over here. And, and with justice coming through, um, this has to do with Libra energy. You might have Libra within your chart, but this is about balancing of the scale. So it's about balancing your beliefs, um, you know, kind of balancing things out within your life, uh, you know, in whatever that is. Just what we just talked about the full moon. So you've got the energy of the full moon. You've got this coming through. It's going to really, really help you, um, you know, kind of get that balance. So I think that's going to be key. Um, anything else for you that wants to come out in terms of where you're at right now? Anything else? Ah, trust your intuition, right? As we were speaking of that, you know, it's kind of like um, the spiritual side of things. It's in this relationship or situation, whatever's brought you to my channel, this is about getting some sort of balance, but there is a, a component of this about trusting your intuition in that process, okay? So it's calling on you to do that right now um, more strongly. Now let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what you want most at this moment. What do you want most at this moment, Scorpio? What's uh, Scorpio need to know most for February? Ooh, here it is. This fell out. What is it? Wow, the happy, happy card. We got the nine of cups, all right? This has been a popular card, at least among a, a couple people. Um, I think Aquarius got this, uh, but, well, shoot, I know Sagittarius got this, and I think that uh, Taurus got this, but do check out your moon rising and Venus signs. Those might help you get better insights. But this is the nine. This is about, you know, coming to fruition, and what this talks about is that it's about, you know, comfort and satisfaction that has come to fruition for you. So in your emotions, you're like kind of hugging yourself, right? And you're giving yourself a, a self hug and think, gosh, you know, I need this right now. And you just go for it, Scorpio. You know, you have to balance things out. And you've been working really hard, it seems like. Um, you know, I kind of get that feeling um, that it's like you've worked really, really hard. But this is about balancing yourself. And you're feeling really good in your emotions. All right? So this is a really good sign on what you want most at this moment is, is to really feel this. So if you're not feeling this, this is something that you can expect to by taking a lot of self-care, right? Uh, and that's going to be key. So maybe that's something that you need to do from an emotional standpoint. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So this is you here, right? Anything else? Knight of Cups. Now, this could be you taking on this energy and moving forward uh, towards someone very passionately, okay? The Knights are about motion. And when it comes to the Cups, it's very romantic and very charming. Uh, now, you might have someone, um, you know, that is either coming your way or you're you're bringing this cup of love to someone else. And it's very honest and transparent, but it's going to be communicated. All that blue there, that's the throat chakra, okay? So uh, lots of blue here, right? Lots of blue in communication in terms of emotions. So um, I really think that's coming through and there's an offer of a cup of, uh, there's an offer of motion moving forward with the cup of love. And maybe that's what's making you feel good. Anything else? Choices. Yeah, you're going to have choices, all right? So you have choices in love. And, uh, Obviously, um, who wouldn't have a choice, especially, especially uh, for you, Scorpio, okay? Who wouldn't want, you know, to have a Scorpio uh, within their life? You know, now some of you might not, but I'm just saying that someone wants to offer you love, all right? And this is an opportunity. You're going to have a choice. Um, you know, I really feel, and this is about choosing the right choice and not being in an illusion of what it is, you know, of, of the choice that you're making. And I think that's why it's calling on you to use your intuition to get your balance. And this is kind of having you achieve your emotional balance. I mean, look at all these cups. I mean, woo. I mean, they're all over the place, right? So this is about really focusing on having faith that you're going to be able to make the right choice and you'll be able to do that if you trust your intuition. So it does want you to do that, all right? So what you want most at this moment is is you want love. You want to feel balanced and, and obviously you have choices. So if you wanted choices, you got them. Now it's about, you know, seeing which one's going to be best for you. Then I got the three of pentacles. That's about communication, teamwork, and collaboration. Now this could be with someone, um, 
you know, it could be in a partnership, it could be in an arrangement, uh, maybe that you are in teamwork and collaboration at work, maybe you are leading others, maybe uh, you're, you're getting together and collaborating with others, but this is about, um, you know, threes are about, you know, communication, all right? Uh, and it does have to do with the material world, so it could be that this is having to do with work, you're doing a lot of collaborating, and um, whatever it's doing, I think it's kind of balancing your emotions out a little bit more here too, okay? So what you want most of your, at this moment is that, uh, anything else that wants to come through do what you love all right so some of you are are about you know making some choices and doing what it is that you love and uh, it's about making maybe some sort of decision that's going to balance your emotions out better but it's doing what you love all right so uh, that's what it wants to let you know uh, and maybe that is love maybe that is a profession that you're getting into and you're making a choice on what that looks like what are your fears here um, let's take a look at what that is uh, Scorpio what are your fears here let's take a look in 2021 uh, what's most important for Scorpio to know in February 2021 in terms of their fears? Here it is. Six of Wands. Now, this is about growth. This is about, you know, self-confidence and progress. I got to tell you, Scorpio, you are being recognized. You are being recognized for everything that you do in your leadership. People are recognizing you and you're gaining a lot of confidence that is getting you grounded as well. There's that wreath of success that you see there and all that red is that root chakra for being grounded. And it's really, people are really seeing that honest self that you really are and that fire energy that you are. And it's a, it's about this new birth of self-confidence that's coming through for you, okay? As outside and the car alarm goes off, you can just hear it's going crazy. You have reached some sort of opinion, I mean, some sort of aspect of yourself. I live downtown, guys, in the city, and so sometimes this happens. <laughs> but this was a positive sign that you are up leveling and you are truly stepping into your confidence and just really feeling really good about what it is that you're doing and really ground it. All right. So this is nice. So your fears are, you know, I will tell you for some of you, if you don't have this confidence, your fears are not, or ha to you know, that the fact that you don't have it, that you're trying to really work on your confidence, uh, you know, and that's kind of maybe some of your fears or you're not going to be, you're not confident enough. Uh, but this be, being in a six, this is a rebirth, right? It's a birthing of something new. So for some of you, this is confidence, you know, and it's birthing at this point. So um, that's what I feel here. Okay. Anything else that wants to come through here? We've got the full card and the temperance card. Okay. All right. So this is about the confidence to move forward pack your, you know, pack your bags and then move forward with a brand new beginning. Now, some of you, some of you might have a cat, you might have a dog. Oh, it's probably a dog there, right? Or an animal. Let's just put it that way. But then she's carrying a rose, right? So um, the gender does not matter. What's important is the energy. And this is someone having a, starting out on a brand new journey on doing what it is that they love or going towards what they love or whom, person, place, or thing, because this person's got a rose in their hand and they want a new beginning, okay? Now, this could be a, a new beginning, you know, whatsoever, whatever that case may be, but it is about, you know, moving towards the sun, whatever brings them sun that gives them light and gives them energy and joy. Um, so this is about um, you having a birth of, of new energy, a new beginning, uh, and, and then, uh, you know, having the confidence to move forward. And then I get temperance. Right, and temperance is all that, that Sagittarius energy, that fire energy, and that is all about balancing, balancing yourself and purpose. So we got balance, guys. Remember at the very beginning over here, uh, you know, this is you know balancing things out. This does want you to balance. Some of you need to balance work and your 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 um, your uh, personal life, and, and that's what's coming into play. But again, with this full moon and Virgo coming out, um, you know. Uh, you know, uh, I think that's going to be super key and going to really help you. All right. So, but that's what I see here. Um, so there's a temperance card here. This is balancing things out. Um, you know, there's water here. Um, so it could be, you know, balancing things out, uh, you know, uh, as it pertains to your emotions as well is what I feel. Um, and, uh, you know, just, I think that's what I see coming through. I want to see if there's anything else that wants to come out. Anything else in terms of, um, your fears. What is that? appreciate your talents okay yeah see guys that's what i was kind of feeling is that you're being recognized at work or that you're really appreciating you know how strong you really are what it is that you do and you're just lighting it up right you're just lighting it up so 
really appreciate your toes. Give yourself a pat on the back, okay? Or on the shoulder, whatever. And that's what, it, uh, that's what I think is so cool at the very beginning. Give yourself a hug for all the things that you've been doing and how good that you've been, um, you know, in this, you know, up to this point. So this, your fear is not really appreciating your talents and getting the balance that you need and then having a birthing of a new beginning and having the confidence. So uh, this could, again, it could be a love relationship, a, a work situation. Note your comments below, guys. I'd love to know. And definitely drop a like as well if this resonates, okay? All right, so anything else? Uh, I want to find out what's going for you. What's going for you? What's going for you right now? The new beginning. Okay, so there is a, a new beginning. There's an opportunity. It's a page of cups. So the pages are all about a messages that are coming through. And this message is all about, um, you know, this, this, you know, creativity, that there's some sort of synchronicity. Uh, it could be within love, within a situation, um, but there is a message coming through of uh, of love. Then I get the four of cups and the fours are all about stability, right? And then this is about, you know, contemplating. You're kind of contemplating whether you're not. This could be an unexpected uh, offer of love. Uh, this could be, are you contemplating love because it's not what you've had before? It's different, okay? And you're really contemplating before you kind of take this offering is this what you really want? You know, what is it that you really want? Uh, do you want the previous types of loves you had before? Or you want something new that's coming in, okay? Because uh, you can have the same thing, but this is saying is that you're kind of going within to determine what it is that you want. So she's kind of at this meditative state, right? So this is about getting grounded, uh, you know, getting your stability, and then contemplating what it is that you want, um, you know, when you go move forth and offer this cup of love or this brand new beginning, okay? So, and that could be offering your emotions. So what's going for you is this, you know, kind of contemplating before you move forward and uh, either offer someone love or or, or, um, or or just contemplate before you move forward in love uh, or emotions or whatever that is making you feel really good. You're kind of seeing what, what is going to make me, how do I want my life to be moving forward that will make me emotionally uh, feel really good, okay? Anything else? Five of Cups. Yeah, and you're contemplating because in the past, some few things haven't worked out before. But look at these two shiny cups over here, all right? So you're, you're, uh, what you're looking at is the past, and that is that contemplation aspect. Um, but you're not seeing the bright, shiny cups over here quite yet because it's kind of like you're still looking back, okay? So what is it that you need to surrender within this in order to uh, get back on track, okay? Well, I didn't mean for that, <laughs> but I guess it needed to come out. Uh, surrender to miracles. There are miracles that are occurring in your life, and this wants you to surrender to miracles and know that they can happen for you, okay? Um, so this is saying is that let go of any sort of resistance or um, you know banish any doubt from the past. Uh, and know that these two cups, uh, you know, could be those miracles that are standing um, right there waiting for you, right? Um, and, uh, you know, there, there are miracles occurring in your life and, and feel and know that these events are real and they can and they do exist, right? And don't doubt that miracles cannot happen, okay? I want you to remember that don't doubt that miracles can happen because um, they can. And then this card flew out. What is this? Yeah, <laughs> just as a reminder, stay open-minded, stay open-minded. So it does want you to stay open-minded in terms of that. You might not think that's the case, you know, but this is saying you got to stay open-minded. There's some things that might not make logical sense to you, okay? Uh, and just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and move on into... Um, we want to go into uh, what is going against you, okay? So um, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Anything else going against you? What is going against you? Eight of Pentacles. You're working a lot. <laughs> And that's okay. You know, a lot of us are tending to work a lot, but, but, but keep in mind that balance is coming through there, guys. So the pentacles is that earth energy. So some of you might be overworking. Their eights are about change, okay? And then I get the three of swords because it's affecting maybe perhaps your emotional life. There is heartbreak. There's heartbreak here. Um, and this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, Scorpio. So yeah, what is going against you is emotional unfulfillment. Um, you know, but you know, and then you focusing on work with the emotional side is is not um, is not 
Happy. Give me more on this Three of Swords, okay? King of Swords. Here you go. Okay. So this is about, you know, the, well, the King of Swords is being very intellectual, clear thinking, and an authority. This could be that you're a leader in terms of the work that you do. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, so this here is there's could have been a heartbreak within a relationship or situation dealing with someone of that sign. You might have that in your chart as well. Um, but uh, maybe you had to cut something out because you're focusing on work right now, okay? And this is what's going against you, yeah? You got the Ten of Wands here. The Ten is about coming to fruition, and the Wands are all about uh, some sort of uh, getting rid of the burden and the responsibility um, and uh, letting that go. And so for some of you, it could be that uh, perhaps you've been dealing with a fire sign, um, or someone with fire in their chart taking on that energy that is letting go of those burdens or you're taking on that energy and you're giving up those burdens, um, you know, that led to heartbreak. Anything else? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, feeling left out and disappointed. Okay. So, um, you know, I really feel, I don't know why this is coming through here, but I almost feel that there has been some sort of disappointment um, within a, a situation, right? And what's going against you is feeling like you're left out. Um, and... Uh, um, and, and this is saying, let me, let me, let me clarify it with another deck. I want to clarify it with something. Okay. Let's take a look. Um, tell me what this five of pentacles is. What is this five of pentacles feeling left out? What do we need to know about this five of pentacles? The magician, you can turn this around. I got to tell you, this is Gemini energy. I really feel that you can truly turn this around and balance things out. You've got all the resources necessary in this situation. So whatever heartbreak that has taken place here, you have all the resources, Scorpio, necessary to make this change. Don't think that you do not, okay? Don't think that you don't. The world is there. There's been some sort of completion and ending of this past type of thinking of maybe the th emotional thing that didn't work out for you here. Um, but you're the magician and you're creating a whole new world and it could be uh, an opportunity. Two major arcanas right out the gate there and the eight of pentacles again working. So you are been working. This is about, um, this is about, yeah, we got this coming out again. So this is about you having all the resources necessary um, you know, for this completion to come into play and then you can start working on a brand new beginning. This is a brand new beginning. This is creating change. Eights are about change. You're going through a change. You went through one change here, which was, and then you went through the heartbreak and then it came through a, you know, an ending, a completion and an ending of something that emotionally, you know, really just wasn't working for you um, and led to heartbreak. Um, but this is saying is, is you don't feel left out. You've got everything to really move things forward. And, uh, you know, if, if, if it's going to take a miracle, you need to believe in it because there are some things that can come into play. Uh, what is your outcome here? What's your outcome? Anything else? Your outcome, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and the Moon card. Okay, so what this tells me is the Queen of Pentacles is all, all about that down-to-earth motherly energy. This is someone carrying on that energy. She's really got beautiful influence, um, but she's got that motherly energy. And either you're carrying that or um, some of you around you has that. But it could be that you're carrying on that beautiful energy. And then the Knight of Swords. Uh, this is uh, you know someone coming through. This is uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And, uh, this is, or, or, or you're taking that on, but I think someone's coming forward, um, and it could be offering you, uh, uh, well, I should probably say is that it's all about, uh, they could come forward very, very fast in your life and it's kind of eluded you. They could, so I almost feel someone comes in and out and in and out, uh, whether that's what you're doing or the other person is doing. Um, but it, it, it left things in somewhat of an illusion, right? It left things in kind of like, you know, uh, what, what's kind of going on here, right? So that's kind of what I feel here. And this is Pisces energy, okay? So I really feel overall that things are kind of, were kind of elusive and I get the queen of swords. So things were kind of elusive in a, a relationship or situation, perhaps with an air sign that's coming through here, um, is what I see here. And, um, and it's kind of, it's kind of like stagnant guys. I kind of feel like it's stagnant right now, um, that it's separated and stagnant and it's kind of, um, uh, yeah, it's kind of like left up that way. What does it say? Go for your dreams. So right now, Scorpio, it's saying to go for your dreams. Do you want a relationship? What is it that you really want to focus on? Some of you it could be a relationship with someone, right? It's all love. Um, could be that. But it wants you to go for your dreams, whatever that is for you. Definitely keep any sort of commitments uh, that, uh, that you have here. That's going to be key. And then anything else that wants to come through. 
let go and enjoy. Wow, you, you see how these cards are the same? Some of you might have someone that you uh, need to let go and, 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 and there, it could either be a rebirth or it could be of just letting go and enjoying your life and focusing on your dreams. Wow, I'm gonna find out what's the most important thing that's going to help you in terms of uh, you know, your, uh, being mindful in the moment and managing any sort of distress, right? And, and these emotions, right? So you can have better relationships. Um, we're gonna take a look at what this is. Well, you know what? I'm going to take it because this would have fell out. This is about willingness, okay? This is about be willing to practice openness and flexibility, right? And again, we just talked about that, right? It says, you know, keep an open mind, right? Um, so we got keep an open mind, you know, stay open-minded, right? So this was talking about you have to have that willingness to do that. You must be creative, you know, put your ego and um, your self-righteousness, any sort of that aside, and when there's a willingness, there opens up many sort of doors, right? And there, there are opportunities open up. And there's many ways. So this is saying today, practice approaching life in, in situations which with a much willing attitude, okay? Right? Because most of the time, life doesn't follow our preferences, does it? <laughs> All right? But that's what this is. That's what's coming into play here. So I am sending you lots of love. Um, let me know, Scorpio, how this resonates with you. Note your comments below. I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, namaste.